Hello adventurers! I am here at Shawnee State Forest in Ohio. Um, I just got back from the Nature Center, which is over my shoulder here. Um, I hadn't intended to go to the Nature Center, but as I was prepping my day pack for my day hike, uh, someone yelled, Hey Superman! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, from there on he gave me fantastic information on uh, some of the features of the area, some of the different things to look out for. I got to look at a rattlesnake and a copperhead. The rattlesnake was actually out in the grass. I was within a couple feet of it. That was exciting. Um, so yeah. And then he gave me some really good information on a couple of uh, guides for identifying the wildflowers in the area. So yay, but ready to go on a seven mile hike. So one mile in on the trail, you can see what I just climbed up. You can see where it drops off there. That was a hard climb and I still have to go up and around so it wouldn't be so bad um, it's kind of hot not too terrible um, but everything smells like citronella because of my bug off bracelets maybe I'm a mosquito if I don't like the scent of citronella it just keeps going came from there gotta keep going when the trail map says 200 feet of elevation change, it doesn't sound like much. It is much. You know you're sweaty when. That ain't water, folks. Ew. <laughs> nope. Just nope. Nope. It's too steep. My knees can't do it. I'm a crawl. I mean, yeah. What goes up must come down. So, like, I have to go down because I went up. But, oof, oof, I don't know if you can see the drop off. Try to get it better. I mean, huh. also, um, what comes up, what goes up must come down. Not really true. Like, I, I highly doubt they're going to bring pieces of the space station back down. And it went up. It was launched. Or, like, the satellites that we send that go past Jupiter and Uranus. Like, those aren't coming back down. So, not all idioms are totally correct. Oh, I could sit and listen to this noise all day. Such a relaxing noise. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the trail so far. We've got, oh, can't see past my head, the creek behind me that I just came from. And then I had to climb up and over a log. I love climbing. Yay. Oh, and a pretty butterfly just went by. And um, I, don't, I don't like this part. We gotta go back up again. I just went up and I just came down. I don't go up again. Okay, I'm not going to stop and film. I'm going to film as I walk because I'm trying to beat, if you can hear it, there's thunder. Uh, not rain yet. Wasn't supposed to be here for about another two hours, so I really thought I'd had enough time. Um, currently playing the game of do I put my poncho on or not. It's drizzling, but it's not bad enough. If I put my poncho on, it creates a heat sink, and then I'm going to dehydrate. But if I don't put my poncho on, I'm gonna get wet, and there are some electronics, phone included. Um, so I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how long this lasts. One of the nice things about the storm rolling in is that the temperature has dropped, so it's cooler now, and I'm not nearly as miserable as I was. So that's good. Speaking of drops, <gasps> look what I am. <laughs> All right, here I go. <laughs> what goes up? Mersh, Kerm, Dernagern. This isn't the easiest hill I've ever climbed. Narrow, lots of leaves and slippery rocks. So you know, in an exercise regime, they're always telling you like, oh, keep pushing, keep pushing, push past the point. There really is a point where you all of a sudden are like, you know what, I can do this. I can do this for hours. I can do this for miles. I'm at that point. I'm feeling really good. Don't mind the fact that I'm on a very narrow part of the trail that's hard to follow. Don't mind the thunder. I am loving this. I have no choice. I'm gonna film this while I do this. <sighs> All right, there go the knees. Oh. Almost slipped a little. Well, 
Poncho's on. <sighs> that was the scariest hour of my life. Torrential downpour, lightning, massive thunder. I checked the weather, I promise I did. I'm so frustrated right now with the weather forecast because it said it wasn't supposed to start for now, about another 10 minutes from where I am. And had, had it not stormed, I'd be off this trail by now. As it is, I've got about a half mile to a mile to go. So I'm nearing the end. And looking back, yeah, my feet are soaked. Yeah, I was terrified for a good hour of the hike. But I had a butterfly land on my shoulder. I had a lizard run over the top of my shoe at one point. I've had several butterflies that just came like right up on my shirt because of the colors. So it, it's been beautiful views. It's been a great experience. You know, I can say I did it. Um, it's been excruciating at times, yes, but overall, I'm really satisfied. I've had a really good time and I'm really glad that I did this. Okay, so I read the trail map backwards, even though when I started, there's a three-way fork and I went straight, but according to the trail map, I actually went to the right. Who knew? Um, but I am probably within now a mile of the end of the trail. I lied earlier. I, I think I kind of had to lie to myself to get myself to keep going. So almost there. I know earlier I said that I didn't like the downhill because it's hard on my knees. Right now with how tired I am, just not even, not tired like sleepy tired, but just exhausted. This is the definition of worn out my friends. Um, but yeah, feeling like this, I am loving this downhill. <laughs> I'm almost at the end. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm in pain. And I would, I was happy. Everything was fine. But this grass goes on and on forever and ever. And it's monotonous. It's not pretty like the switchback trails I was following or the steep elevation changes. Look how ugly this is. I'm in a mountain holler surrounded by grass. Ugh. So I finally made it back to the car. Yes, I changed. Yes, I'm still wearing a Superman shirt. Um, but yeah, that was an experience. I can definitely say that I've done it. Can't say that I loved every minute of it. Um, some of it was awesome and some of it was miserable. Um, overall, I am so happy right now and I'm really glad I did it and I didn't die. So <laughs> that's always a good thing. Uh, don't trust Apple weather. They lie to you. They lie. All right, adventurers. I love you. I gotta eat some food before I do die.